Hello, it's Cabo here, and in this video I'm going to try to clear up some confusion about where exactly nether mobs will spawn in nether fortresses. So, in a previous video I said that they spawn in these uh, 5 by 10 areas along the nether bridges, and then Azuma Void and Saigai Ryan have a video that says they spawn in chunks where there are nether fortresses, and there was a lot of debate. Where do they actually spawn? So, Saigai Ryan and I were talking, and it turns out that they don't just spawn in these 10 by 5 areas like I said, and they don't really spawn in the chunks that have nether fortress pieces either, like Zuma said. Uh, it turns out they still spawn based on the boundaries of the nether bridge sections, but there are different nether bridge sections that have different boundaries. So uh, let me first uh, get into what I'm doing here. So I've got a mod installed for 1.4, and it, it's one that I wrote to show what type of mobs will spawn in the location where the player's head is. So as you can see, if I go outside of the special area, it switches to the normal nether mobs, and if I go back in, it will switch back to the, the special nether spot, uh, spawns. Um, and th this works for any place in the world, because it, it basically calls the same function that is used by the game when it's trying to pick a, a mob for spawning. So uh, all of this information should be accurate. So we're looking at um, just little sections of a bridge like, like this, right? We do see the 5 by 10 area that I described in my previous video. If we're outside of a, a section like this, you can see I'm just getting the normal nether spawns, but if I move inside, you can see I'm getting the special spawns. And you know, it's the case for any bridge section with a walkway like this. Um, even if the walkway has a roof, it will be the same based on the actual inner walkway area. So that's the case for you know most parts of the bridge, but there are some exceptions. And these exceptions typically occur at intersections and uh, ends of the, the, the bridge extension parts. So this first exception that I want to talk about is probably the most important. It's the most important because uh, it's got the biggest area, and it's a square, it's very easy to work with, and this is probably what you guys will want to use for farming uh, the, the wither skeletons. Alright, so this special case is where there is a four-lane intersection, um, but you have to make sure that this four-lane intersection is one that doesn't have any special features, it's just these five wide, four of these five wide lanes intersecting. Um, I think it will also be okay if there's a roof, but there's something I want to mention about that as well. So, in these intersections, you've got, uh, from the center, nine blocks in each direction. So it's a 19 by 19 square, and it's 10 tall, just like before, so it's 19 by 19 by 10, 10. so a nice big area for spawning. And like I said, because of that, these are the sections that you'll probably want to use. All right. Now let's talk about the other exceptions. So um, the first one I want to mention is another type of intersection. So let's see where it is. Uh, over here you can see we've got one of these intersections that I talked about before. It's just the uh, four lanes intersecting, and it's giving us the 19 by 19 square. But then right here we've got something a little different. This is this uh, another intersection, but it's not... Uh, a square like that. Another thing that you can notice about this intersection is you see it has this little uh, part that comes out like this. Um, that's actually the, the boundary for that intersection, as you can see. It's not giving me any special spawns here. But if I were to move in there, uh, let's just break it, you'll see I'll get the special spawns. So that's the, the boundary for that intersection. And if it has this, this open roof, you can also see it, it goes up just two above the open roof. If I jump, you can see um, the spawns changing there. So that's the second type of intersection to look out for. So make sure you don't get them confused. Intersection just open like this, where there are no uh, extra little bits here in the corner, are the ones that you'll want to use. Whereas these ones with the little extra bit in the corner will not have the same spawning area. That, uh, they won't have a very large spawning area. Right now, the other cases. So, next case I want to talk about are these 
tower-like things. Um, usually these occur above the lava rooms like this. Uh, in these lava rooms, uh, you get spawning inside the entire area of the room. Well, basically anywhere where you have a walkway with walls uh, on the sides, you'll get spawning. Um, so walls or rails, like in here, or over on the path over here, anywhere like that, you'll, you'll be able to get spawning. Um, but the height in these special uh, lava rooms like this is a little different. It still goes five below, like the paths, but it goes instead uh, nine above. So it allows basically that things can spawn on the top here. Uh, as you can see, if I'm above this white block, the special spawns aren't allowed, but if I go below it, they are. So basically, all of the blocks from down there up to this white block are all valid blocks for things to spawn. All right, now for the next part. So this next part are uh, where the blaze spawners occur, and these have spawning areas that go from this corner ledge here, so it's the top of this corner ledge, to the outer ledge here, and it goes up to two above the the outer ledge there. So as you can see, if I'm staying here and I jump, it uh, switches. Now there's one more special section that I want to talk about, and it's these sections that have stairs. So uh, in these sections, all of the area inside is valid, and then on top you've got just three above the walkway. So as you can see, if I jump here, it will switch. None of these sections are really important because the ones that you'll really want to look for are the four-way intersections like this, but I just wanted to point them out in case anyone was really curious about it. Um, now I want to address one more thing, and that is why have I been seeing uh, spawns outside of the fortresses and stuff like that? Well, it's probably the case that there's some sort of ledge like this. So as you can see, if I come out to the edge here and walk under it, I have a valid area for mobs to sp or for the special spawns to occur. And you know, because of this, you can get a wither skeleton spawning under here and then he can wander around and you know, make his way around all over the place. Also, if you have any sort of outlet, you know, eventually they might find their way down. So that's the reason why you see them close to the ground. If the spawning area happens to be close enough to the ground, then you know, they can spawn there and somehow they might be able to get out. So that's that's all for that. Um, I want to say thank you once again to Azuma and to Saigai Ryan. I wouldn't be doing this video probably if it weren't for them bringing this to my attention. So thanks to them, and I'll have a link for the mod that you can download in the description. And that's all. Thanks for watching.